Hey my infinites, this is your girl Infinite Beauty and I'm back with another tutorial. I'm using this Dulce palette by Juvia's Place to create this look I call Sherbert Surprise. I hope you guys enjoy it. And as you can see, I've already did one eye, so let's get to the other one. Please do not forget to subscribe and push the like button and click the bell for notifications. And I'm going to this first color called Berry Mousse. I believe my palette, the two of the colors are mixed up in the palette, but it's that light tan color. And I'm applying that as my first transition. And I'm using my favorite blending brush to apply it and spread it all over. Next, I'm taking a Wet n Wild um, blending brush and I'm going to that very peachy pink type of color which is called Creme. And I'm applying that right on top of that previous color but a little bit below to blend it all together. anymore and first I uh, pat the color on to get the most color pay off and then I do windshield wiper motions to blend. Taking my foot fluffy goodness gracious brush and from the, blending those two colors together now I'm taking another wet and wild blending brush and I'm taking that berry color which in the palette is called I believe it's um, mousse or something all the official names to the colors will be listed down below but I'm taking that pretty color and I'm putting that on top of that pinky shade. Next, I'm going back into the light pinky peach color shade and I'm putting that on a little bit on top of that deep berry color to further blend it out. to a good blend is to go back and forth between your colors. Next I'm taking my NYX eyeshadow base in the color white and I'm going to use that to cut my crease. And I'm taking this small detailer brush from Real Techniques that I like to use to do my cut creases because it's small enough that I can get very precise with it. 
sorry if you can't really see what I'm doing, but I have to get really close up to a mirror to see what I'm doing. But I'm just going a little bit above that um, fold in my eyelid. making sure it's even with the other eye even though I have it looks like I have more of a fold or hood on what on my left eye than my right And then I'm just putting more of the base down to fill in that little area. And I'm using white because I want my color to pop more on my lid instead of using like a nude color. And I don't have a light enough concealer to do it so I'm using this NYX base I mean it's okay but it still creases so I have to pat it out before I could apply my eyeshadow or set it Here, I'm just taking my um, eyeshadow base brush that I use to apply my bases and to also buff it out and that's just what I'm doing right here it's just buffing that out on my eyelid so there's no creasing and then I'm setting it lightly with my airspun translucent powder Next, I'm taking that greenish mint color, very pretty, and I believe it's called Macaroons in that palette. And I'm taking a flat sponger type brush, and I'm applying that all over that white base. And you want to get as close to that line as possible. If you mess it up, you can um, fix it. But it's easier just to be extra careful in the first place. Here I'm just seeing if it matches with the other eye, making sure it's even and all of that jazz. And then I'm taking a small detailer brush and I'm going back into that pinky purple berry color and I'm applying that to define the cut crease 
um, line to make it a little bit more pronounced. I'm just taking a crease brush from e.l.f. and I'm blending that color out a little bit more. Next I'm going into the Magic Palette by Julia's Place. And I only use two colors in this palette. I'm taking that beautiful duochrome purple. It shifts to like blue and some pinks in there. And I'm adding that to my tear duct area. And here I'm just taking like a wet paper towel and clean it up, up under my eye and to sharpen up my outer corner or outer V area. Next I'm taking a eyeshadow base stick and it's by LA girl and it's in the color white and I'm applying that to my lower eyelash area and I'm just blending that out using my ring finger And I'm going back into the Duce palette. And first color I'm taking is that pinky peach color. And I'm just placing that below. Not really trying to be perfect and precise. Next, I'm taking that berry color and I'm going to apply that on top of that first transition color, getting a little bit closer and closer to my lashes and waterline at a time. Now I'm taking something totally off the board, keeping with that Sherbert concept. I'm taking LA Girls Glide, Glide Eyeliner in the color Lime Green, and I'm placing that in my waterline. And I'm going back into the Magic Palette 
and I'm taking that deep purple color right there called Ify and I'm taking a um, flat definer brush and I'm placing that directly right against my lashes and this is my eye look so far Doing a little bit more cleanup. So now I'm going to do my wing eyeliner with this white liner by NYX and I'll be right back. So now that I'm back, I've applied my wing liner, my lashes, and my foundation and highlights and all of that jazz and I'm using Dollar Lash Club eyelashes in the style Kylie and to tell you the truth I really don't like that white eyeliner by NYX it flakes and but it's the only one I have until I get some more so it serves its purpose but now I'm applying my brush my blush and it's by Tarte in the color Party. Just for a flush of color. And I still have to do my foundation routine. That is still on the list to do. But I will get to it. And for my highlight I'm going totally unconventional unconventional goodness what is wrong with my talking but I'm taking that another duo chrome eyeshadow from Juvia in the Duce palette and it's the color Tarte and it looks white but it shifts pink and I am applying that to just my cheekbone area and my brow bone those are the only places I'm playing this color. I will be using another eyeshadow everywhere else, which you will see in the next minute or so. And this is the other color and it's like a very very shimmery pink but on the skin it looks almost like a very pale silver type pink so I'm applying that one down the center of my nose my cupid's bow a little on my chin and those above my eyebrows a little bit on my forehead just everywhere I could possibly think of so I can glow for the gods So now it's lipstick time and I'm using this lip liner by NYX in the color Bloom. It's like a pinky color and I'm using that to line my lips. There it is there. And I'm taking another NYX product. I love NYX by the way. And I'm taking their soft matte lip cream in the color Antwerp. It's like a peachy pinky type of color. And it's not 
too drying on the lips. It's actually very comfortable to wear and it's a beautiful color. And for another pop of color, I'm going to take that tart color that we applied to the cheek and just putting a little bit of that on the center of my lips. So this is the final look you guys I hope you like this look don't forget to subscribe and hit the like button and I will definitely see you in the next one bye guys